Hello everybody and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be building and reviewing the Captain Rex uh, helmet here from LEGO. It is 854 pieces with set number 75349. Um, it's, it was a pretty fun build. Um, you can see uh, the box art here from LEGO. Uh, it looks pretty cool. The whole build looks really nice. I love the curves and, of the helmet and all the different colors. And the way that they integrated all of the different uh, pieces of the helmet, especially that front piece. Um, and currently this set is on sale for $56 on Amazon and Walmart. So starting with the box here, um, I just wanted to show it off. And you can see that there are sticker elements. Um, we'll talk about that later. But yeah, it just looks really sleek and nice. Um, it stands out. I like the black. It just looks really sleek and nice. Um, it stands out. I like the black background with the white contrast of the helmet here you can see the two uh photos of the show of, of captain rex <laughs> and uh here's the back it's just a straight on video or picture or i guess that's the side and then back to the front here i'm um, just showing it off one more time yeah so starting out dumping out all the pieces um it was funny it just all kind of came out and stayed standing up um but yeah, so it has five building stages. I'm going to throw them all out here so you can see them all. It's kind of funny because bags one and two come in two. Well, they all have multiple bags inside of them. But uh, set, geez, um, stages one and two have multiple bags in them, but they're labeled differently. You know, Lego kind of does this. It's a little bit funky. But yeah, so here's all the pieces laid out on the table here all at once. Like I said, there's five steps. So, um, taking a look at the manual here, it's nice and white. It's kind of contrast from the box. Uh, you we start out and we show a little bit about Captain Rex from the show. Um, it says, clone captain with a conscience. It talks about the Clone Wars and some of the details of Captain Rex. And then here we start out with uh, <laughs> the brick separator, the all-important brick separator. No, I'm just kidding. Then we get started on the first set. But I wanted to show the different build stages here. Um, one, two, three, four, and five. And the steps that we take on each one. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, I guess I wanted to show the first step <laughs> before showing off the rest of the book. I guess on the back you can see it's just a blank slate with the Star Wars logo. And then on the front, again, just the helmet there. So starting with the first build stage, you can see it's a lot of snot bricks. Um, there's some interesting frames that were used to create structure without a ton of weight um, on the back and then the sides there you can see there's the openings and then there's a lot of uh, interesting colors that are in the center um, like the red and the yellow there as well as the green um, i wanted to show the stickers here you can see in the front where i showed off the sticker now moving on to the second step here, um, you finish the back and then part of the front of the visor. And I really like the way that this curves down from the back. And oh, and I guess you also finish the stand. The stand's pretty robust. It has a Technic uh, piece right through the center that has a couple of pins. Um, and so it pretty much keeps it in place from falling off the stand. Um, it's, it's pretty much locked in. I wanted to show here this little, uh, I think it's a 2x2 two two tile, maybe a 3x3. Three um, round tile and it's just connected to that little two by two square brick and then it uh, has that pin that slots into that purple two by two uh, modified round tile but anyway I really like the way that those curves come around the back um, it's like on a hinge and it just kind of folds in together there um, and yeah the top is all nice and rounded and all back into step two so for step three here, uh, we do some more of the visor. You complete the all black front with some of those curves with the blue and the white. Then we also put on some of those stickers on that two by two tile. Um, there's also a hinge for the bottom of the visor that's pretty cool. It connects down at the bottom right there. You can see it bends. <coughs> and then completing some of the side of the helmet on both sides, we have some stickers. And I really like the way that they, they did the gray curves here and it just looks kind of sleek and fun. Um, just a really fun build. It kind of all comes together very nice. Um, and it's very satisfying when you finish. 
particularly. I don't think this stage was all that. It didn't stand out to me that much, but it was kind of cool to see the visor and everything come together. So that was cool. Here in step four, we complete part of the bottom right, I guess, of the helmet um, with the part that comes around the front there. Um, here I go to show off some of the stickers and how I had one that's crooked. The other two are straight. Then I accidentally break it here. Um, but uh, this part was really cool. It's fun to get this curve, um, especially when it kind of comes down over the top and then around the side. Um, and then here the stickers are uh, a little bit frustrating. It doesn't, at the time, I didn't fit it up to see where the sticker needed to go. I just placed it on the brick. And you can see I didn't get it lined up properly and accidentally left that massive gap there, which is a bit disappointing, but I didn't want to try to pull it off to fix it. So here you can see I tried to break it and put it back together um, and then incorrectly put it together before I realized I did it wrong, so I put it back and fixed it. But um, towards the end of this clip here, you can see there's this little green tile that has a little uh, uh, stud on top, and that's kind of keeping that piece from flowing in, I guess. I don't know. I'm kind of lacking words here, but that was kind of an interesting technique here. And most of that thing is hollow. It's, it's pretty open. It's not a lot of weight. So it's pretty cool to put this together. It's a little bit confusing, actually. This was part of the more difficult stage of this build. Um, but if you're just uh, detailed about it, it's not too bad. There's just a lot of white that adds up. And here, this is a more detailed look at that sticker where I left gap there in the opening. Um, I, I fixed that on the other side. <laughs> I learned my lesson here and uh, fixed it. So um, putting it back in place here, that's kind of how it snaps on, and the other side is exactly the same. Going into step five again here, like I said, the other side is the exact same, and then I finish it up by putting that front plate on that says Captain Rex Knight. Um, I like the way that it bends, and then it's printed as well, so it's nice that it has the Lego logo with the Star Wars and then the Captain Rex. And again, this time I made sure the stickers were a lot better placed than I did on the, the first time around. There's not a gap there where uh, I had on the right side. And then looking at the antenna, or not the antenna, but the uh, visor eyepiece, I really like the way that it articulates, and it just came together really nicely. So that is the Captain Rex helmet in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed the build. Um, this was really fun, and uh, I recommend putting it together if you get a chance. Thanks for watching.